Lydell Mitchell is nearest to you, and Franco Harris across the way. Pittman in the center. Henry Brown is coming out and will kick it off. That is Butch Davis, number 40, standing there. Brown is a slot back, plays behind John Stagger. Well, again, Happy New Year, everyone, and enjoy tonight's 1970 Orange Bowl. The All-American, Charlie Pittman at the 3, the 10, the 20, and across the 25. And Penn State will have this lineup. Greg Edmonds, the split end. Tom Jackson at tackle. Bob Holuba at guard. Warren Kogel at center. Charlie Zapek at right guard. Vic Surma at right tackle. Pete Johnson, the tight end. Don Abbey, your starting fullback, number 36, is not in there. Franco Harris, 34, is in there. Lydell Mitchell, 23, Charlie Pittman, 24, and Chuck Burkhart going from a deep punt formation, throwing to Franco Harris. Across the 30 and out to the 32 for a gain of six. Now, quickly, the Missouri defense, which has a six-man front. Brown, Kuhlman, Vital, Adams, Miser, and Hoffman across the front. The linebackers, Holt, Lundholm, and... Weisenfeld with Fountain, Pope, and Davis deep. Second down, four. Charlie Pittman trying to get the first down, but then Greg Edmond wide to the right on third down and about a yard. And this is Charlie Pittman picking up the first down out to the 39-yard line. And Mississippi beat Arkansas 27-22. Burkhart hands to Lydell Mitchell, and Mitchell gets a lot of yardage. Pittman set in a slot, and now they've got a double slot right. Franco Harris, and he gets about a yard across the 45, and on third and four, it is Mitchell, who is wide to the left of the flanker. Burkhart, look out, gets the ball away, almost intercepted on a fine defensive play. No score. Wobbly kick. And Staggers will let the ball bound dead at the 16-yard line. Well, broke most of the passing records. Hands the ball to Staggers on the draw, written down from behind by Gary Hall. To up top. Here's your offensive lineup. Shryock at tight end. Jackson, tackle. Kelly, guard. Wilson, center. Kephart at right guard. The All-American Mike Carroll at tackle. And Mel Gray, number 21, at end. And this is Staggers again, and he has got daylight. Written down from behind as he crosses the 45-yard line. McMillan is 18. Ron McBride, the fullback, 32. Joe Moore, 45. That's McBride, the fullback, with the football. And Ebersole, Reed, the All-American, Smear, and Hull, the front four. Then four linebackers, Jack Ham, 33. Dennis Oncox, another All-American, 35. Jim Cates, 55. And Mike Smith, number 10. The deep men, George Landis, 31. Neil Smith, 26. Paul Johnson, 47. McMillan has Fryock, his tight end, inside the 40. Mel Gray with 9-3 speed. Winner of the Kansas and Drake relays wide to the right. But this is Joe Moore bursting up the middle. And a saving tackle by Jack Han. Second down, three from the 31. McMillan to McBride, the fullback. Taking it to the outside or over the middle. Gray wide, but this is a running play. Fryock split left. Quick pitch. This is Moore and dragged down in the backfield by John Ebersole. McMillan looking for Gray on the down and out and overthrows him at the 21-yard line. At four field goals against the Air Force. This will be from 47 yards out. No good. Just short. And Penn State has held him. Chuck Burkhart, the quarterback, played 20 games as a high school quarterback and 21 as a college quarterback and hadn't lost the game he started yet. Franco Harris goes straight ahead. Second down, seven play. Burkhardt's got the ball. He's got a man in the open, Edmund. Across the 45. Waddell Mitchell, number 23, wide left as the flanker. Charlie Pittman, the All-American, scrambling for yardage. That's Pittman who was in motion. Burkhart looking, has Edmonds again at the 40. And down he goes. First down from the 37 of Missouri. Pittman in motion, and the guard charged offside. 
Penn State's last loss was in the third game of the 1967 season. Five yards is put about 10 yards to the right. Mitchell slotted left, and that's Burkhart looking for Mitchell. Has him inside the 35, inside the 30, and close to a first down with the ball at the 28. Edmonds right. This is Charlie Pittman, the All-American, and he gets inside the 25. Four linebackers will step in. Here goes Burkhart on first down, under a rush, and down he goes. Mike Bennett. At the left corner. This is second and 18, and that is Franco Harris. And look at that power. Third down and a couple of yards. Charlie Pittman. Pittman gets close to the first down and may have it. Charlie Pittman hit as he gets to the line of scrimmage, has only seven catches all year. Here's Burkhart looking, throwing for Johnson in the end zone, incomplete. Defended over there by Butch Davis. Replace Edmonds. Burkhart back, looking on the screen, and Lydell Mitchell drops the football. We'll try this one from the 19-yard line. A try of 29 yards for the field goal. Ritz is successful, and Penn State goes out on top. Three to nothing with a 29-yard field goal. A very big march by Penn State. It was an important one. High and short. Chased across the way, and it is out of bounds. And Abby will kick off again, this time from the 35. Penn State leading 3-0. 3.44 to go, first quarter. This is Gray, winner of the Kansas, and Drake relays in the 100. 9-3 is his speed, and what a tackle he gets. First down, 10, Missouri. Joe Moore's lost the football. Moore was hit, lost the football. Burkhardt getting a block, throwing to Mitchell. What a block he got there. Steps around his man, Mitchell scores! And there it is, a very simple pass pattern, but virtually impossible to cover with this defense. And the great block was number 40, Pete Johnson. Extra point. It is good. And remember this, Chuck Burkhart has now thrown two touchdown passes, but only one in 1969. This is the first year First day of 1970. 10 to nothing, Penn State. L. Gray, 21. This is Gray again with all that speed backing up to the four. The 10. Simply runs around a man at the 15 and now is caught. And down he goes. McMillan for the second man through Joe Moore, who comes across the 25. This is second and four, and that's Shryock, the tight end, flank to the right. McMillan overthrows his man, number 24, Henry Brown, inverting third down situation. And McMillan usually goes long. This time he goes short, overshoots his man, Shryock. Steve Kennemore will punt. Oncox, a linebacker, calls for a fair catch. He's a good safety man and has a lot of speed. Takes it inside the 30. Mitchell wide left. First down, Abby carries the football and gets to the 30. And this is second and seven. That is Franco Harris, who just came in. And it's number 30 is coming as a linebacker for Missouri. Burkhart is in deep trouble. Oh, he drills this over Stacker's head. Off his fingertip. Picks it up at the 15. And look at that speed. <laughs> Saving tackle by Franco Harris at the 38-yard line. Oh, by Franco Harris. This is McMillan as we come back live. Looking, throwing, intercepted. <laughs> Gary Hall, the defensive end. Returns the ball to the 47-yard lineup as time has run out in the first quarter. And what a quarter. That's the end of the first quarter. The score, Penn State 10, Missouri nothing. Again, the double slot right. 
Franco Harris picks up a yard or two. There it is again on second down nine. This time the fake to Harris and the handoff to Charlie Pittman. They're hanging in there. They're a bit outweighed by a bigger Penn State team. To this is a third down six play over the middle and intercepted by Lorenzo Brinkley across the 40 and knocked down on the 42. First and 10, Missouri. Joe Moore looking for running room and gets out to the 45 yard line. 22, 22. Hut, hut. Second down eight. Joe Moore again slips out of the tackle of Steve Smear and runs into Dennis Uncock. This time he's lined up as a tight end on the far side. McMillan looking, throwing, intercepted by number 31, George Landon. The second interception of Terry McMillan. Passing quarterback, but has been intercepted twice tonight. The fake pitch to Franco Harris. Burkhart goes up top, downfield. Aiming for Charlie Pittman, broken up on a fine play by Dennis Pope. And then Lydell Mitchell set in it. Again, the fake pitch to Franco Harris. Now he swings a pass out there to him, and he is being chased by Kuhlman, gets away from him, gets a block, and gets across the 30 and out to the 35, 36-yard line. Ladies and gentlemen, we do apologize for the poor audio. There is nothing wrong with your individual sets. It's a problem that we're attempting to rectify, so we do ask your indulgence. McMillan hands to Moore, and Moore gets good running room down to the 35 yards, but gains a down. He's going to take the penalty, making it first down and five. First down, McMillan still got the football. He's a fine option runner. Across the 20, Neil Smith makes the tackle. Nell Gray wide left. Tryock wide right. There's Moore hurtling down to the seven yard line in the backfield. And now it is not the eye. Quick pitch to Staggers. He can throw the football, does. No good. Third down. Pitch and down goes Gray. The football is loose. Penn State. Has the football. That is John Ebersole. The ball is on the 22, and the Mitney lines of Penn State have it. Double slot right. The fake to Franco Harris. Burkhart knew he was going to be buried there. 21 17. Second down 16. Burkhart fires it, has Johnson. Ball takes a Missouri bounce and is downed at midfield in a 28-yard pass from Burkhart to Lydell Mitchell. There's McMillan floating the ball out and trying to catch it is John Stagger. Second down, 10. Flag goes down, and there's a pass thrown, but nobody's in the area. Most touchdown passes, 18. They refuse the penalty. And wide to the right, number 80. McMillan throwing a screen over the head of McBride. Lee Kennemore to kick from his 39. High. That's Johnson watching it hit. And it's out of bounds inside. Well, right at the 10-yard line. Of First down for Penn State. Burkhardt has been thrown three times for 27 yards. Back to throw this time. Has his man Johnson, who cannot hold on to the football at the defensive end. Second down, 10. Franco Harris hit immediately at the line of scrimmage. Halfback, George Fountain. Anticipating pass, but it is not a pass. It is Charlie Pittman getting across the 20-yard line. And long count. Parsons can really boom that football. Driving staggers back near the 30-yard line. There he goes again. Ran into his own man. Gets a beautiful block across the 40. Cuts to the outside and is hauled down from behind by Lydell Smith. Here comes Mitchell now to make the saving tackle. Now back live and the fullback 
second down and eight. McMillan fakes, throws, intercepted again by Dennis on top, the All-American, who has speed. Back to the 41-yard line. McMillan suffers his third interception of the night. Penn State came out on the shotgun. We should have known then it was going to be that kind of night. Second man through, Charlie Pittman, the All-American, all across the 50 down to the 47-yard line. Four guard, 83, replaces John Brown, 89. Burkhardt, back to throw. Throws off the hands of his intended receiver, Pittman, from the 48. Second down and 10. Lydell Mitchell just does get back to the line of scrimmage. This is a third down, 10 play. Burkhardt under pressure, fires, and it's no good. Kicks it straight on a line, and Staggers has it at the three. This time he goes down at the seven. Gray comes to the right. Straight ahead goes Ron McBride, the fullback, about 15 yards, flanked to the left. But the ball instead is handed to Joe Moore, who gets across the 15. Henley is in. And down goes Joe Moore. Brilliant defensive play. Henley is wide left, and Mel Gray, their fine pass catcher, is not in there. That is Joe Moore, second down and eight from the 20. McMillan, little flare pass to Joe Moore, and Mike Smith tried to drag him down and did not get him. Moore has speed. Ham has the angle on him and throws him down. First down inside the 45-yard line of Penn State. Missouri, with a score here, can go to the locker room in this ballgame. Straight ahead goes McBride, their fullback. Gibbs is along the sideline. Henley is in the game, and here goes Staggers. And did he run into a fine tackle by George Landers? Nighttime spectacle to see. Staggers again. Looks like he got the first down. McMillan. Looking over the middle, has his man. Tryock inside the 15-yard line. Something to happen involving that young man. Flag goes down, Moore's got the football, and down to about the 11. Now let's also keep in mind that when number 24 Ray flanks right. McMillan hands the ball to Moore, who is inside the 10. McMillan hits. Back across the 15-yard line of Gray, number 21 at the bottom. And McMillan is going to throw to one up. Over the middle and over the head of Henley. And he was triple team. Missouri will try its second field goal of the night from the 23. It'll be a 33-yard field goal if good by Brown. And it is good. And Missouri is on the scoreboard. With a 33-yard field goal by Henry Brown of Middleton, Pennsylvania. Well, the senior bowl is a week from Saturday. He's in the middle. Harris and Mitchell are back with him. Franco Harris at the seventh. The 15. Powerful and big, and he gets across the 25. Out. Burkhardt is five for 14, thrown for a touchdown, one interception. There's the double slot right. Burkhardt is going up in the air, throwing for Mitchell at the 30. And run out of bounds. It's second down two. Harris straight ahead and more than enough for the first down. And the Lions are hurrying things up with time running out in the first half. That ball is batted down and guess who? Mike Bennett again. Up and the three Penn State first half. Charlie Pittman doesn't need much of a hole, and he's almost got another first down. Track. Double wing this time. Burkhart throwing has Pittman, who now runs out of bounds to stop the clock. Burkhart under tremendous rush again. And down he goes, thrown by John Cowan. Burkhart, Wilson's going across the line, and the ball is overthrown, intended for Franco Harris. And they're saying the same thing again this year, and Penn State is winning again. Franco Harris straight up the middle. The first half. The second quarter of today's game has been brought to you by the DuPont Company. Halftime activities will begin from the Orange Bowl after this pause for station identification. 10 to 3 Penn State. The Lions kick off to the Tigers of Missouri.
Tigers at the 11th. There he goes again up near the 40-yard line, and I've got to believe that they're happy to be in 75-degree weather as it is now in beautiful Miami. McMillan still got the football, now pitches out, and down goes Stagger. The clear skies all week long. Second down play, second man is Joe Moore, number 45. On third down five, and Henley has come in and is wide right. Third and five, and Moore tries to get it and does not. So deep. Kenamore's kick is a boomer. Johnson watches it hit, go over his head, and into the end zone for the touchback. No, Charlie Pittman, 24. And that is Pittman across the 25. Mitchell sets in the slot left. Pittman. Ran into his own blocker, Franco Harris, number 34. Now third, and short yardage. Ooh. Oh, Franco Harris is really nailed by Adam Vital, number 65. Oh, Bob Parsons comes in to do the kicking. And there's Staggers back. What punt returns he had in the first half, inside the 20. And not going very far. But it's Missouri's football on the 21. McMillan to Joe Moore. Moore runs into Dennis Oncott and it's happened. First man through is Jim Harrison. This time it is Moore, the second man through. That's a big hole. Jack Ham, the first to hit him. Gray is wide to the right. McMillan looking. Gray is open over the middle. McMillan can't see him and is now being chased and going the wrong way. Wall forming on this side. Back to the 30, the 40, and out of bounds at the 45. Harrison and Moore, the setback. Play action with McMillan holding on to the football and getting the first down. Missouri trailing by seven with the first down. There's Harrison again, and is he strong? Still on his feet. His average for catch better than 16 yards. McMillan has the football dragged down from behind. Gray at the top. And McMillan back to throw. Throws for Henley. Intercepted by Neil Smith, the All-American. Down the sideline. And out of bounds on the 41. A three average out of a possible four. That's in the schoolroom. Here's Charlie Pittman. And Pittman gets out across the 45. Second down five. From the 46. Pittman in motion. And Lydell Mitchell... Third and six, and Burkhart rolling out under tremendous pressure, throws and has his man. Lydell Mitchell has the first down. Burkhart throwing on first down, and almost hauled in by Pittman. Burkhart is eight for 20. One intercept. Flag goes down. This is Franco Harris trying to get outside, and right there is Mike Bennett turning the play in. Arkansas, 27-22. And the Cotton Bowl, Texas 21, Notre Dame 17. Burkhardt again. Throws to Franco Harrison beyond him. Booming kicks have been returned and some sensational runs by Staggers. But he boots this one deep in the end zone and it hops out. First down and there's Joe Moore hurtling a couple of tacklers. Play this time at the bottom of your screen in Shryock, the tight end is split wide. There's a flag down as Moore is thrown at the line of scrimmage. Henley is in and wide right and McMillan back to throw looking for Shryock intercepted by Dennis Oncott. Who's knocked down immediately at the 29 by John Stagger. Rydell Mitchell wide left, but that is Franco Harris picking up a yard or two. Sirafisi, Wally Sirafisi, one catch on the year, is in the ballgame, but that is Pittman nearly breaking away. This is another third down play, third and four. And Franco Harris is shy of the first down. 40 could be a big man. Big play, they're going for it. And through the air. Going, and it is off the fingertips of Johnson. The with 3.17 to go, third quarter, Mel Cray is in, and flank right. Joe Moore for a couple of yards. Together. McMillan back, 
throws over the middle of Tryon. His tight end, who picks up only a couple of yards. Draw play, but a flag is down. Moore gets out to the 30-yard line. A legal procedure. Also, they linebacker that returns punt. High may not have a chance. Calls for the fair catch and has it inside the 30. Burkhardt. Going for the bomb to Johnson. He's got it. 30, 20, down to the 15-yard line. Penn State 10, Missouri 3. Dolly Pittman going outside and stepping inside a tackle and getting inside the 15-yard line. Second down, 8. Michael Harris gets down near the 10. Third and 5. Burkhart throws, has his man Pittman inside the 10 and close to a first down as time has run out and this the third quarter, and they're signaling it is a first down from the sidelines. Now he says first down, Penn State. As the quarter is over, that's the end of the third quarter in the 1970 Orange Bowl with the score. Penn State 10, and the Tigers of Missouri 3. Against Kansas here, almost in this same spot a year ago, Burkhart carried the ball himself. But this time, he gives it to Pittman. Now they've got a power eye left. Burkhardt keeps the ball and throws behind his intended receiver. We haven't mentioned this before. Could affect a field goal attempt. But we're now on the field and don't know exactly what the conditions are. Burkhardt and in trouble. And there is John Cowan, the sophomore, throwing him back across the 30. I would break it uh, to the outside, rather break it to the inside. Second down now from the 27. Burkhardt in trouble again on the screen. Throws to Lydell Mitchell. Inside the 20, inside the 15. And the three Penn State and the Lions are threatening again. Pittman inside the five, a brilliant effort. Just pushed back as he got near the goal line. It is going to be Mike Ritz. They are not going to go for the touchdown. They're going for the field goal. From the seven, it'll be 17 yards. Almost like an extra point in degree of difficulty but it'll put big three points there and the kick is no good off to the side low snap from center and off to the side and the score remains the same action will continue and there's lots of it here at the orange bowl the score penn state 10 missouri three he hasn't been able to do it tonight first down from the 20. john staggers who's been doing it all night is doing it again Across the 40 to the 42. 12 and a half minutes to go. Now Gray to the right. Roper's back for his first pass. Looking, throwing, overshoots, intercepted by Neil Smith. His second of the night. His 21st of his career. Momentum took him out. Double slot right. Almost running into one another, Burkhardt and Charlie Pittman. Second down and nearly 10 to go. Burkhardt throwing, and there is Mike Bennett again. Third down and 10. Burkhardt being chased. And Risenfeld, the blitzing linebacker, throws him inside the 15. Rushes on, and it's a bad kick. Could have been partially blocked. Picked up by Penn State, but whistled dead back at the 20. Zuri's football on the 20-yard line. 22 Staggers. There goes Staggers again, getting down near the 15-yard line. Missouri in great territory, but now both of their linemen on the right side move. A legal procedure charged. And they bring the ball back outside the 20 again. Staggers has carried the ball seven times for 57 yards. And now he is in trouble throwing oh. it high in the air. Belongs to anybody. And <laughs> caught by no one. And Tim made probably the smartest play of the evening. Now to third down and 25. McMillan looking, throwing for Gray, who is double teamed. And nobody intercepts this time. 
Henry Brown has tied up his toe and apparently will try a 52-yard field goal. But McMillan, the passing quarterback, is the holder. Brown kicked four field goals against the Air Force and won the game with 11 seconds to go with a field goal, and he is going to try it. It is off to the side. They come out to the 20, first and 10 for Penn State. Championship and the right to go on to the Super Bowl. Burkhardt hands the ball to his fine All-American halfback, Charlie Pittman. Second down and five, nine and a half minutes left. This time, Pittman does not get out of the backfield. And again, four defensive halfbacks are in there. The fake pitch, and here comes Weisenfeld blitzing and has him. They'll mark it at the nine. Parsons last time didn't kick too far. This time he does, and he hangs it up high. Mel Gray is back. Has it bounce off and go out of bounds at the 49. Missouri has an excellent chance, of course, with a lot of time left to score and then the possibility of a two-point play, but they got to score first. Here is Staggers, and he runs right into a couple of big men. Second man through his staggers and fights his way down near the 45. Triarch is to the right. Second man through is Moore, and Moore gets down near the 45 again. 6.15 to go now. The clock becomes a big factor. High kick. Johnson watches it hit. And it's tried to be tipped back by Henry. Burkhart to Pittman, who picks up a couple of yards on, on second and eight. Keeping it on the ground still, and there's another fine tackle to Pittman, again for Missouri. Third down and five. They give it to Franco Harris, and he does not get the first down. Long count. Flag almost went down for taking too much time. This is Mel Gray, a 9-3 speedster, and he's got the football. Wall setting up down the sidelines, bumped out of bounds. Penn State beating Missouri with 3.51 left. Roper back to throw, standing there, looping it, Gray downfield, trying to catch it. Just can't get to it at the 20. Roper back again, looking down and out and through the hands of Tryon. The handle, but to keep the towel on it. This is the third down play. Roper looking, firing, and off the hands of Henley. Get him over to kick from his 25. Oncott calling for the fair catch and taking it at the 26. And there's the story. First down 10 and Franco Harris. Pick for Penn State. Franco Harris again and not much yardage. Dan McNamara, Hal Fleming, public relations, Jack Hodling. They do not get the first down. Pittman has stopped at the 32 with two minutes and 35 seconds to go and two minutes left. And the kick is out of bounds, which stops the clock. We've got a minute and 55 seconds to go. From the 42, Roper is the quarterback. And back to throw. Hit as he throws, but the catch is made. A lot of speed. And Roper back to throw. Throws for Henley. He's got it. Inside the 15. First down, Missouri is running. Roper looking and overthrows Henley at the two. And won it. Harrison tried to get in, but now goes out. Roper back, looking again. Swing pass. Knocked away. Brilliant play by Mike Smith. Gray Wright on third and ten. Roper throws. Intercepted by Landis. The seventh interception. And knocked out of bounds at the 42 with 53 seconds to go. That sets a new Orange Bowl record. Seven interceptions against Missouri. Well, the scoreboard shows no time, but we've got almost a minute. Burkhardt is going to try to kill that minute, getting down to the 40. But what a football game we got. Burkhardt carries again. And out of 17 passes, completed only four. Burkhardt running backwards and falling down. 
You wonder whether or not he's actually going to kick it to them or out of bounds. Pope is there. The ball goes over the sideline markers and out of bounds. And that is the end of the ball game. Well, Al DeRogatis, we came on the air and we said the fine defense of Penn State and the awesome offense of Missouri. The defense of Penn State looked good, so did Missouri's, but the Missouri offense never really materialized to get a score. And what we expected to happen would be that people like Mike Reed and Steve Smear and Denny Oncotts and Jim Cates would be getting to the passer. They rarely got to Terry McMillan, but the unheralded almost defense of the Missouri Tigers threw uh, Bur uh, Burkhardt time after time after time, and they were they were on him all afternoon. Joe Paterno in your picture, obviously a very happy coach. And isn't it a great feeling to, to end your career never, never having lost a game in college or high school? And Penn State now has won 30 ball games without a loss. There has been a tie in a bowl game. They've won tonight by the score of 10 to 3 over Missouri.